The Humane Society wanted to euthanize all of the dogs in the Michael Vick case because of their aggressiveness. The U.S. attorney stepped up to the plate and said, no, they're going to live because they are evidence. Exactly. These dogs were euthanized by a veterinarian that made that decision. Could that be something that the DA will regret as it goes on if this is elevated to dog fighting and if this could become a federal case? Because it could be. Right. That's the kind of evidence oftentimes you want to try and show a jury in these types of cases that these aren't regular dogs. These are not animal lovers. These are people that take advantage of animals, that train them to be aggressive. And when you have a videotape and you have a live dog, juries really get and can understand that this isn't someone's pet. This is, someone, this is a kind of animal that someone has used as a tool for their own profit, and they really have abused these animals. And having them alive and as a live display for jurors really help you when you're trying to convince someone that this is an animal that was used inappropriately. I think you are right. Let's go to Sheila. I want to go to Paul Henderson, San Francisco Deputy District Attorney. Now, South Carolina, they have a dog fighting statute in place. They have a task force Correct. in South Carolina. This case is not a dog fighting case yet. Why not? Well, what they're doing now is collecting evidence and they're racking up charges as they go along. One of the interesting things about South Carolina is that they have a particularly stringent laws against uh, animal abuse and animal fighting. So in that state, you are charged with a felony for dog fighting, for possession of dogs that fight. You are even charged with a felony for being a spectator at dog fights. And each of these felony charges carry a mandatory sentence of 180 days of custody. And so this guy's facing 33 charges. I think we're looking at some serious prison time here. And that's the way this case is moving. This guy's not going to be out of custody for a long, long time for this case. It's oh. really just a tragedy.